My name's Alistair Benson. I'm the metallurgical superintendent at MMG Golden Grove in WA. Or when you tell someone you're a metallurgist, they say, oh, what's that? They don't have much of an idea, but if they say geo, everyone knows what a geo does. From geology, they find the rocks. Metallurgy, we process it and we turn it into the good stuff. So I work on a base metals uh, mine, which means that we produce a concentrate of copper, zinc, or heavy precious metals. Currently at metallurgical superintendent level, I get to look after a number of metallurgists and we do a whole heap of things and there's planning and project work and so on. A typical day for me uh, would usually involve getting to site around about 5.30 in the morning, have a review of what the trends have been over the previous night so I can see what the throughputs have been, the recoveries. From there we go and we have a, a manager's meeting so we discuss what's happened across the entire site. From there I come back and basically figure out what the highest priorities are for the day, whether there's issues with recovery or concentrate grades or anything we need to attend to. If we do, we plan out what we need to do. There's never a dull moment. There's never anything that's the same old, same old. And it's just, it makes you feel good to go home and you've increased recovery or you've increased con grade or you've increased throughput. And, and they're the sort of things that you want to do. I love getting up and going to the plant because that's where I work, that's what I do. There's nothing that's the same every day and, and just knowing that you're going to have a change to have to deal with is really good. I was given some opals when I was a young tacker and um, I saw the player colours in that and I thought, oh, that's cool. So I always knew I wanted to do something with rocks and worked my way through school so I knew physics, maths and chemistry was going to be something I had to do. And when I got to about year 12, I looked at um, what options there were. I studied a Bachelor of Science in Extractive Metallurgy at Murdoch Uni. I did chemistry, I did physics, I did geology, I did hydrometallurgy, pyrometallurgy and a whole heap of different metallurgy related sciences. Um, basically just so that we got an overarching view of what metallurgy was. Um, the work that I did was sort of grunt work when I first got out of uni and after that I've always spent my time off in the, the bush. You get to see a country that you might not otherwise see. Um, I mean, I'm in the hub of the wildflower country at the moment, so whenever you've got wildflowers, they're just, they're your paddock. That's what you go to work and you see every day. Um, people pay massive amounts of money to go on tours to go and see these things, and that's where I live. I saw an echidna crossing the road the other day, and I wouldn't see that in the wild. You can go out of a night, look up, and you see the Mil Milky Way, you see the galaxies. You, it's completely different to being in Perth. You don't see that in everyday life. It's, it is really cool. My first job out of uni was actually at a metallurgical test work company. From there I just kept applying for jobs and got a, a job up in the Northern Territory and then after that a project met job and just on my way from there. I've been through a couple of different mine sites now. I've been through gold, I've been through diamonds and now in base metals. A lot of it's been based in Perth as a fly and fly out role. The lifestyle of fly and fly out is good. Um, I enjoy being able to spend time with my family in a dedicated sort of time frame. I don't have to go to work every day and come home every evening and the kids are all shattered, so I don't have to do that. There's a fair bit to do after work. You can go to the tennis court, you can go to the pool, you can get on the internet with the wireless, you can go to the pub, you can, there's a whole heap of walking tracks. There's a fairly social atmosphere. I mean, we've got competitions, sporting competitions that happen throughout the year. We've got the volleyball going at the moment. Um, the gym's there. Uh, there's a whole heap of things to do. If you wanted to work in the industry, basically make sure you're in the right profession. Figure out what you want to do in the industry. Do you want to be a mining engineer? Do you want to be a metallurgist? Do you want to be a geologist? Um, once you know the field that you want to work in, head down, bum up, and basically try and make your mark where you can. When you think about having a mine that started as nothing in the middle of nowhere and then you've suddenly made it into something that produces and benefits a whole heap of people around the world, when you think about it in that sense, mining sustains everything we do. Um, if you don't have mining, you don't have a lot of things around the world. Rocks to me hold a fascination because we take the majority of what we use in our daily life and it's come from rocks. I've seen plays of colours in diamonds, I've seen plays of colours in gold, I've seen plays in colours in natural rock. The new ore that we're digging up now is green, it's malachite, and this green is just absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got turquoise on it, the actual turquoise mineral, and that's magnificent when you look at it. So there's just, nature can do so many awesome things and it, 
people can look at it and go, that's a rock, but to me that's it's a whole different world and from that rock I can turn it into something that's useful.